So you thought I would let this slip Thought you knew me so much better Hi pretty people, it's Crystal, your very own personal beauty pro. I am actually a professional makeup artist. My primary work is in what's called advertising or commercial, but I also do editorial work and some film. And I've done many a New York Fashion Week. At this point, I have done hundreds of faces of all the races and I've worked in a variety of facets of the beauty industry. In addition to doing what I love, I absolutely love educating, inspiring, and entertaining through beauty. Because skincare, beauty, and everything related to it is my hobby, my passion, my profession, not to mention I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> I tend to try tons of products, but the benefit in that to you is that I've tried a ton of products so you don't have to. So today I have an epic empties videos products that i've used quite a bit of or used up all together i have a huge variety of products from foundation to eyeshadow to skincare a long time ago one of my fabulous viewers said i should do something like this and i should call it pretty or petty so that's what we are going to do i'm going to let you know if these products are pretty or if we're going to be a little petty about them but of course we will keep it pretty in that we will Keep it classy, but we're gonna have some fun. Now, if any of these products are something that you love, then by all means, continue to enjoy and love them. I'm gonna give you some insights into why I love a product or why it wasn't my favorite. If anybody is loving this look, I will have the details in the information box, including the accessories and the clothing, if available. I love the eyes today and that is Pat McGrath's Bridgerton collection. And I amped up the inner corners with the beautiful lavender shade from her Mega Palette. And then I've really been wanting to spend some more time with some of Hourglass's recent releases. So this is one of their palettes. This is Universe Unlocked. So that's for cheeks, that's the blush, the highlighter and the bronzer, but more on that in another video. And then the lips are Faux Pas Lipstick by Pat McGrath and the gorgeous iridescent sparkling twinkling Lavendering Lip Gloss. Let's kick it off with Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. It comes in what I think is such a pretty packaging and I thought their dispenser is brilliant. Sifter is actually shaped like the H of the Hourglass logo. It has that pretty gold interior and it truly does dispense just the right amount of powder. The powder is lightweight, it gives a smooth finish, but for some reason, this didn't give me the ta-da factor. It didn't wow me, it mattified. It wasn't drying. I don't, I can't say that I would really replace this. <laughs> so it wasn't bad, but. Next up is NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. NARS has come out with a couple of new foundations over the last few years, but one of their legendary foundations is the NARS Sheer Glow, and it is definitely pretty and worthy of its reputation. It is one of my favorite foundations. I think the name Sheer Glow might throw people off, but it's beautiful on all skin types. It gives a natural flawlessness. It makes your skin look like skin only perfected. It wears beautifully, especially for something that's not designed for oil control necessarily, or not a matte foundation. I love Sheer Glow. I would use this in my professional work and on myself any day. The next set of empties are by a brand I brought to you a few months back, and that is City Beauty. They were kind enough to send me a huge variety of their products, and they're in touch from time to time when they have new releases. And I don't see many people recommending them, but this is a really nice skincare brand. So nice, in fact, that it is now available in Neiman Marcus. 
So remember that you heard it here first, if you did. And then the City Lips, I use this literally every evening and every morning. I have tried tons of lip products, conditioners, lip glosses. This is a lip gloss and a lip conditioner in one. And what it does for the lips is just on a different level. So the brand City Beauty is definitely pretty. Okay, I have a sample of a YSL lipstick here. You might be wondering, why are you showing a sample in an empties? <laughs> this Tatouage Couture Velvet Cream Lipstick made me so petty that I sent it right back so I don't even have it to show you. My challenge with the Tatouage formula was that it actually never quite sets down so it moves a bit much from my taste for what it's supposed to be and I also didn't feel like the color gave me the impact I wanted. The shade I had was one of the red shades and YSL makes some gorgeous red shades but this formula didn't quite do it for me. So I do tip over to the drugstore from time to time and one of the most popular products there is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This concealer is raved about and I must say that the formula is exceptionally good, especially for the price. It gives a nice high medium coverage, not quite full, but definitely more than medium and enough to conceal, which is better than even some higher end concealers do. And it leaves this beautiful soft matte skin-like finish and it sets pretty well in place. The problem I had with this was the same problem I had with a higher end concealer that I'm going to mention next, but it has a sponge tip applicator and that sponge tip applicator is doing this product and the purchaser such a disservice because to click it up, you have to fill up the sponge with product first before you see it emerging from the sponge. And then guess what all that product does in between uses? It just sits there in the sponge instead of where it should be, which is in the container. So it's an enormous waste of product. It's not the most hygienic. Next product was so petty, I'll have to pop a picture up because I tossed it. And that is Charlotte Tilbury's concealer. Another one that is really a very pretty formula. I would repurchase it if it were not for that sponge tip applicator. But that sponge tip has got to go. Charlotte's darling, you are above that sponge tip applicator. The Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and Concealer. I finished both of these. They gave a pleasant, a medium coverage finish. They looked good on film. They were pretty, but they just didn't have that pow factor. The Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. The stuff legends are made of. And yet for some reason, I never reached for this stick. It's a nice formula. It has a nice medium coverage. It gives a pretty semi-matte finish, but there was something about it that just didn't take the look to the next level for me. I don't know if over the years they have maybe altered this formula. I hate to put something from Bobbi Brown in the petty pile because that is a beloved brand, but the Bobbi Brown corrector was once legendary as well. This is also going in the petty pile with her sister. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen. Now we all know ABH is legendary for brow products, but this particular one, it just didn't give me the pretty vibes that I needed. The product itself is good. It has a lightweight, airy texture and it sets down and has a beautiful wear time. The challenge I have with this is in the applicator itself. Now, it's in a nice fine pen form, but there's a little something that they could do to tweak this applicator that would make it really better at mimicking fine hair-like strokes for the brow. Now, those of you who have followed me a while know that I've actually done some work with ABH, had the pleasure of doing a little work with Claudia, AKA Norvina. So, if you all wanna hire me for me to let you know how to tweak this applicator to get the most from the product, you know where to reach me, is the ABH Dewey Set. This is beautiful. The packaging is just beautiful with this beautiful, sparkling twinkling container and then 
I must say that they have nailed this applicator. So this is one of the prettiest, finest mists you'll ever have. Now, I have not replaced this in a long time, not because I didn't love it. I thought it was really pretty, but my mind never got back to it. So maybe I'll have to try this again. The Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1. This was super popular with the pretty girls for a minute, but I haven't heard much about it lately. I really did like um, the ingredients uh, the coconut water and that it was probiotic based. Now what I did not love was the high velocity speed at which the mist comes out of this dispenser. It comes out like at 100,000 miles an hour. So I really didn't care for the finish or the droplets that it left on the face. And perhaps that's why I never really got into it. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This was once the talk of the town, but you are not loyal people. <laughs> so you hardly ever hear about this anymore, but it is really good. No, there is a big difference between uh, facial mist, hydrating mist, a finishing mist and a setting spray. They all do different things and it's important to know what effect you're trying to get and that will help you to pick the best product. NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have several of these. These are pretty and these will always be replaced as long as they keep making them. Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I enjoyed this for a stretch of time. I think this just fell to the bottom of the pickup list because I have so many products to try and test. But I enjoyed this. I thought it was pretty. I don't know that I would replace it only because I have several more that I love even more. Bobbi Brown is back in this particular one. We'll be joining her sisters in the Petty Pile. Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. It's a nice, uh, I'd say light to medium coverage foundation. It looks like skin, but for some reason it didn't send me. It didn't, I wasn't sent. I have a lot more makeup to share with you, but let's be pretty or petty about some skincare because we know that Good skincare is the foundation of any good beauty look. There are all kinds of brands being thrown at us every day, and some of them make some really big claims. And because I am also a licensed skincare professional, I have a little bit of insight with regards to these products. Let's start with a brand that was really raved about as being really effective, and it's a bit luxe as well, and that is Sunday Riley. This particular product is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. This was touted to be a next generation retinoid oil that reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging. I enjoy using it, but I don't know that I would necessarily replace it. Good Jeans is another well-spoken of product by Sunday Riley. This is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. Really thoroughly enjoyed this. I think I had a couple of bottles of these. Lactic is one of my favorite acids because it has so many benefits in addition to really helping with the skin cell turn over and really giving the skin a smoother, more refined finish. It also can help to boost skin's hydration. A lot of the girls were raving about this fresh, this black tea kombucha facial treatment essence. And you know, the essences, that's that step after your cleanser and toner, but this is the first leave on step before you get to your serums and moisturizers. And it may not seem like that big of a deal as far as steps are concerned. I notice a significant impact in my skin and in the effectiveness of my other products when I layer on a few layers of essence. Now the question is, was this one any good? I absolutely love this. I think I went through about three bottles of this. I also tried several several uh, products by Fresh. Um, that one I believe was one of the standouts. This is the Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask. Great moisturizer, but I didn't see anything spectacular after that. So don't know if I'd ever replace this. Actually, I do know I'd never replace this. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Charlotte 
handmade her magic cream backstage at many a fashion show, many a runway show, long before she actually had her own brand. So this was one of the much anticipated products from her and it's a top seller. Do enjoy the magic cream and I would repurchase it. It gives a beautiful, lush, plumping, hydrating sheen to the skin. Now what I love even more than the magic cream is the magic night cream. It is so thick and rich, but amazingly it does not cause any clogging of the pores for me. Doesn't cause any breakouts. Brilliant at sealing and hydration. Another product in the magic line that I would try again is this eye cream. I really enjoyed this eye cream. Now one of the things the Charlotte Tilbury night cream, the one that I mentioned is really thick and emollient, it reminds me of the legendary La Mer. As legend would have it, Max Humaire, rocket scientist, stumbled upon this wonderful formula while he was concocting something to heal burns and the rest is history. It has what they call a miracle broth, which is a ferment of various ingredients, some of them sourced by the sea. And for years, people have been raving about it. Now, does it work? I think it's very much up to the individual what results you will get from this. Now, I do know of some people firsthand that have experienced actually some relief from their eczema with this product by it being so rich, thick, emollient, and soothing. And my using it, it definitely is a lovely, rich moisturizer. I definitely recommend adding water and essences and hydration first, and then using it to seal in. It won't be as effective on top of dry skin. The skin really should be slightly damp and this is a really good occlusive to seal in moisture. I didn't notice any extraordinary brightening or refining effects from it, but it is a good moisturizer. Would I buy it again? Maybe when I'm feeling a little luxe, I would repurchase it. And there are several other products that I am enjoying from La Mer as well. Hopping over to a slightly more affordable skincare brand is the Timeless brand. I hear about this from time to time, but not nearly as often as I feel like we should because this is a really nice staple brand. I really enjoy the Timeless products. This is their Matrixel Serum and I also enjoy their Vitamin C as well. Skin Fix is a brand that I thoroughly enjoy. I've tried a few of their products. They are available at Sephora and I believe they have their own website as well. This was the AHA cream. This was the body cream for resurfacing. You know I am a big proponent of taking care of your body skin as well as you take care of your face skin. And I really enjoyed this. Absolutely empty. I thoroughly enjoyed this and I would definitely replace this for pretty body skin. I wanted to give Biosance a try. This is their Squalene Elderberry Jelly Cleanser. I love a variety of cleansers with different textures and ingredients. I love cleansing oils and balms and so this jelly sounded like a lot of fun. However, I didn't enjoy using this as much. I think they need to refine the dispenser number one because it, it dispenses entirely too much and then although you expect it to have some slip, I think this product might have been a bit greasy to the touch for me. This was the Amora Vixa Thermal Cleansing Balm. It smells like a spa. It has a very interesting uh, texture because it actually looks like this thick gray mud, which of course drew me in. I just love testing a variety of formulas and concoctions. This did a nice job at removing makeup, but for some reason, I don't know if it was that it was a little gritty. There was something in it that I wasn't over the moon about. Drunk Elephant. I've tried several products by Drunk Elephant and I've really enjoyed them for the most part. One of the recent ones is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream and this has nine signal peptides in it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Nice 
hydrating, has a nice lasting hydration. I am on, I believe, my third bottle of this also. This is the A Passione Retinol Cream. This is impeccable. A visible refining effect, smoothness, evening out of skin tone, a liveliness, a plump suppleness. I thought for sure that I would love a jelly cleanser by Drunk Elephant, but I have never liked anything less. <laughs> this Bestie number no. 9 jelly cleanser by Drunk Elephant is going in the petty pile, never to be purchased again. Let's pop back over to the makeup category. This is the Shantikai Future Skin Foundation. This is a lovely whipped cream formula foundation and I'm going to have to toss this because I didn't get to finish it because I have so many foundations but I did like this foundation I like the texture it gives just the right amount of coverage to add some perfection to the skin but it does not look like makeup sitting on the skin at all Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation i thought for sure that i would love this laura mercier they are the authority on complexion especially a flawless yet natural looking complexion but for some reason this foundation and i did not hit it off like i expected to anastasia beverly hills foundation i love the foundation I don't think I was the biggest fan of this packaging either. I am fine with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but the giant foundation on the other side, although I know the intent behind it, I think that they could really remove that. But this is a very pretty medium coverage foundation, medium to high medium coverage foundation. It wears well, has a very pretty skin-like finish. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this as often, but this is a pretty foundation. I had several colors. The brand sent several colors and I enjoyed them. Now, one of the things I heard a lot of people say is that they had difficulty finding their shade. And I am sort of in between shades with this formula too. I think that if maybe people, more people could find their shade, then this might become a staple for some people because this is a really pretty foundation. Lancome Tante Doll Ultra Wear is unmistakably pretty. Not only does this look flawless, it also looks natural and is long wearing. It's also transfer resistant. This is the kind of foundation formula that dreams are made of. Hourglass Vanish Foundation will be vanishing from my collection. This one gives me sort of the Laura Mercier foundation vibe. Yes, it goes on smoothly and it looks nice and it has a medium to full coverage. But there is something about the formula that gets a little doughy, that gets a little texture in it and doesn't wear quite as well as I would like it to. I don't know why I love a good stick foundation, don't get me wrong. In fact, I am wearing one today, I'm wearing Fashion Fairs, and I'm gonna talk more about that formula at a later time, but I thought for sure that I would absolutely adore the Hourglass Stick Foundation, and I wore it for a while, but there was something about the final finish that didn't quite meet my preferences. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. This is a product that I think a lot of people may not quite know what to do with, whether or not they need it, but I definitely think it's pretty and it's worth having, especially if you're a girl who loves complexion products and you like to have that glow and you like to do a little extra with your face. This is a very nice product. I think it is beautiful. It is not just like a skin highlighter, although it gives a glowy, dewy highlighted effect. It's like a step above a skin tint, but a step below a foundation, but it's better than the tinted moisturizer. It's just a really beautiful product. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It stays all day and night, and it does indeed. I love this foundation. Beautiful, flawless, full coverage foundation. A good old fashioned, fabulous foundation when you really just want to look flawless and gorgeous day or evening. It does not have to look cakey. It's all in the application, 
but you definitely will look perfected and people will probably compliment you more on your makeup than on your skin but they will say that your makeup looks beautiful, that it looks impeccable. And last up is Estee Lauder's Put Some Respect On My Name Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. One of the best selling foundations of all time and that is indeed for a reason because she is pretty. This is the foundation you reach for when you want to look pretty, perfected. It's great for bridal. It's great for special occasions. It's great for the everyday working girl and every girl in between. This is great for TV, film, and personal appearances. It's also transfer resistant and water resistant, meaning it won't easily come off or rub off on someone else or on clothing. Now, it doesn't mean it's totally transfer proof. I don't believe anything truly is unless you set it with a professional level setting spray or you use some professional level techniques to get something to stay in place, but it does a really great job of staying in place overall. And it is something that I have used as body makeup that did not transfer onto the garment. And there you have it. I told you it was an epic empties. Thoroughly enjoyed this, our very first episode of Pretty and Petty. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. I am looking forward to our upcoming videos and I look forward to seeing you all again really soon. But until the next video, keep it pretty. You're on a lifetime sentence. So now you never feel my presence. So you thought I would let this live. Thought you knew me so much better